No. Oh gosh. Help. Help. The time has come. This is the episode. Wait. The time has come. This is part 11 to my Resident Evil 7 series. I think this is the last one. I think this is the actual finale of the series, which is very exciting. Although, uh, <laughs> there's a, I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know what the last boss fight is. I assume it's this one, fighting Evelyn, but if it's not, then that'd be kind of funny. That'd be kind of funny, right? So, we'll see. I don't know, you know, hey, who knows? Who knows? Wrecked ship. Mia walks the debris-ridden landscape and finds Ethan. Oh, never mind. I already read that, too. Okay, well, great. Great. Okay, so yeah, we just closed this door. And Mia was in there. Yeah. Mia was in here. Poor Mia. Alright, well, you know. She served, you know. She, uh, okay, served the cause bitch. well. Uh, what the fuck are you? Now it's my turn to serve the cause well, you know. I already went through this part. Yeah. It's all your fault. No, it's not. It's actually not my fault, so. I can't remember if there are any items here. I don't think there are. I really don't have anything. <laughs> I'm assuming I'm going to find, like, a storage container that'll have all my weapons and stuff, but who knows? Maybe I won't. Who knows? Maybe I won't. Ooh. Uber? Creepy. Wow, look at this. This is, like, right out of Slender. Oh, dropping down. Okay, no turning back. No turning back. There's probably an antique coin around here. Like, let's be real. Let's be real here. Okay, maybe no antique coin. Very unfortunate. <clears throat> oh, it's a helicopter. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a... Uh, maybe this is the facility they were talking about. It's like, bringing uh, Evelyn to the facility. Ooh, dead fish. Oh, <laughs> I can just push the fish. All right. Uber creepy. Okay, there's got to be an item over here, like hiding somewhere. There's got to be. Yeah. Flame rounds. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm almost pot. There's got to be like a storage thing up ahead. There's got to be. Ooh. I can actually use the grenade launcher now. I mean, I could have used it before, but I was saving it for something, and uh, I guess this is it. Okay. <clears throat> February 18th, 1892. There's a collapse in the Patterson mine. Tuan and Beckford are dead, and Huxley will never walk on his own again. Old man Stan was right. The ground there is too unstable. February 19th, 1892. The company's not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. I can't wait to get back to the old country. Back to the old country. Back to the old country. Abercrombie Salt Mine, South Dulvey. Oh... Oh, oh, oh. Bobblehead. I don't have a weapon. Rip. Helicopter, yeah, yeah. Are they watching us from that helicopter? Uh, yeah. I mean, probably, right? Hello? Is anybody out there? Alpha 1, this is Bravo 1. Do you read? This is Alpha 1. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? A skirmish? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports That's just from the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat. Shoot to kill. Yeah, I doubt that'll work. 
I doubt that'll work. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, so I can buy more of the uh, weapon. I can buy the pistol. I guess I probably can't, honestly. I don't think I have enough. I don't think I have enough antique coins. So, oops. Large oops. Ship, swamp, lab. <laughs> it looks like something I would draw. <laughs> like, come on now. They could have done a little bit better with the planning. What is that? There's an arrow pointing to. Oh, to the to the pistol. Yeah. All right. What's in the storage? You've taken Mia's things. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Okay, so I have so many things now. All right, so it said we've taken Mia's things, so we probably we have a lot of things now. I don't know if we have enough antique coins for the uh, for the powerful pistol. Yeah, we don't. Okay. Well, obviously I did not keep a sharp enough eye out for those. That's fine. I'll probably use the shotgun. Realistically, um, M19. Yeah. Definitely gonna be using that. Uh, the knife? Yeah, I mean, probably. I'll probably be knifing some boxes, you know. Uh, now, the only question is, do I want the burner or do I want the grenade? I feel like I want the grenade launcher over the burner, right? I mean... But then it's like, I could I could bring the burner. Like, I could totally bring it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm also going to be making a lot of med kits, uh, most likely. Okay, I'm going to be making two for sure. Oh, remote bombs too. Wow. The machine gun honestly doesn't seem that good, so I'm not going to I'm not going to bring it. I'm not going to bring that one. Shotgun shells, yes. Lock picks, honestly, I might I might need those. Honestly, the neuro rounds might be effective against Evelyn. I mean, maybe not, but like I feel like they I feel like they might be. Okay, so I'm going to be making... Oh, I don't have... Dang. Okay, well, I don't have another... I can make another strong med kit, but it'll take up so much space, so I probably won't. Um... Also, there might have been some footage just lost there. Uh, the battery in the camera died. <laughs> big oops. Big... Like, it died, but, like, it was fully charged. So, I think... I have, like, a... I'm using a, a cannon. Uh, camera, but the batteries, I have one cannon battery, and the other two are, like, third-party ones, and the third-party ones are just garbage. They're so bad. If you have a cannon camera, I'd recommend just buying the cannon batteries, because they're expensive, but, like, I mean, the ones, the third-party ones I have, power extra, they just die. They just die on themselves, like, at full charge, so, I don't know. Uh, what else will I need to fight this boss? Honestly, uh, is this fine? Should I use the burner? Dang, I don't know if I should bring the burner or not. Oh gosh, so much planning. Um, I'm definitely gonna make more handgun ammo. Definitely gonna make more of that. So I'll need, oh actually I can't even do that because I don't have any more chem fluid. Wow. Um. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, do I need more flame rounds? I feel like seven is pretty solid, right? I feel like seven's pretty good. Oh, gunpowder. I should have more gunpowder. Great. Now I have a bunch of enhanced handgun ammo, which I feel like will be really useful. Um... I don't think I need more flame rounds, so. so that's fine. I don't think I'll need more flame rounds um, than seven. I feel like seven's pretty solid, honestly. So, And I'm assuming there's going to be a bunch of boxes in there with ammo, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to bring the lockpicks. I hope there's like actually something I could use the lockpick for in there. Uh, I don't think I'll need to corrode anything. I mean, maybe I will, though. Like, realistically, maybe. So many uncertainties. Okay. 
I'm gonna be using one psycho stimulant in the boss fight room. All right, that's what I'm gonna. That's my goal. Don't these and psycho stimulants make the uh, neuro rounds? No, I still need strong chem fluid. Okay, all right. Okay, so this is the loadout. I feel pretty strongly that this is going to work out pretty well. So, I think we're all set. We're gonna save and uh, gonna see if <laughs> gonna see if this Evelyn can stand up against uh, Fred Jones. I don't know if she'll be able to stand up against Fred Jones, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Ooh! Oh, there's so much burner fuel. You see, that makes me feel like I should bring the burner. What if I just don't bring the knife? I feel like not bringing the knife is a bad decision, though. Quite honestly. Oh, boy. Uh, got so much burner fuel. How much can I hold in my inventory? Don't I have more burner fuel? I just, I just don't see it being that I feel like if she's close I'd rather use the shotgun right like honestly but I really don't have that much shotgun ammo <laughs> so I don't, I don't know you know what I'm not gonna use the burner for the boss fight I'm not going to uh, hopefully that won't come back to bite me in the bite me in the rear but I'm sure it'll be fine quite honestly so I'm sure it'll be just fine Oh, all right. Now we're moving in. Now we're moving. If I find more burner fuel, though, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably <laughs> go back. Get it. Oh, chem fluid. Great. Wow. Um. Ah. Okay. Strong chem fluid. Dang it. Hang on. I'm gonna be as efficient as possible, so I'm gonna go back and uh, store the. Uh, I'm gonna store the lockpicks. I don't think I'll need them, quite honestly. Uh, I also don't think I'm gonna be using the uh, strong first aid, so I'm probably on the, yeah the strong cam fluid. So, uh oh. All right, hang on a second. Uh, all right. I'm gonna keep the cam fluid with me because I feel like that'll just be infinitely useful on the battlefield. I wonder if these guys will spawn again. Will they spawn again? They totally won't. Yes, they totally will. Um, hmm. I don't need to fight these guys if I could juke them. Let's be real here. Let's be real. No, 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 no. Okay, all right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh! Okay, this is fine. I'm fine with juking them until, uh, no, machine gun ammo. I'm not gonna use the machine gun though, so that's fine. Please? Let me in, let me in. Now I know what some of you are thinking, Kevin, you're a coward. And honestly, yeah, I, I, would, I would say I kind of am. Uh, in this instance but I'm a coward with more ammo than I would have been if I was brave so you know it's a give and take you know two-way street him I'm probably gonna have to fight oh no okay this is fine All right, great. Sounds good, my guy. Oh, these things. Okay. Wait, I could have crouched under that. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, well. Okay, I can actually make a third med kit, which is good. That's good. Where's this one going? Right in there, that's fine. 
Okay, so... Okay, this is fine as well. Because he's going to bump into that and blow up. Okay, great. Dang, I wish I kept this one up now. Dang. Okay, well, they're going to bump into that, so... Are they actually both dead? Oh, no. All right, well, I'm going to leave him. What the heck are these? Oh, it's to keep the to keep the rocks from falling. Okay, I thought it was a trap. Okay, but now the fact that those traps are there though makes me think that Lucas like rigged some of the boxes. I find so I, I might actually just start shooting the boxes. Quite honestly, um, we'll see. This kind of reminds me of a uh, Goblin Jim's cave in Oblivion. Uh, I guess it doesn't really look like it that much, but still kind of reminds me of it. Oh, boy. I can't go through here. No. Oh, gosh. Help. Help. Yeah. <laughs> All right, look. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I should fight a couple more of them. Four legged molded. This type has little health but walks on all fours and very fast. Yeah, I already, I already did that. Oh, but now I can actually use this fourth one. Okay. Great. Now I can use this one to actually like stop them, which is important. I already know that these ones aren't rigged. An herb. Wait, what? Wait, why do I have... Huh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I had space before. Um... Wow. I could have sworn I had one space. Did the game just let me keep a free chem fluid? I think it totally did. Okay, drastic times call for drastic measures. I am going to, uh... Wow, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna discard it. I'm gonna... Whatever. I want... I would rather have a third kit, so... <laughs> Maybe that was really just absolutely stupid, but... <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> okay, here they come. Great. Phenomenal. Oh, okay, you already died. Oh, hey, look at that. Easy peasy. I wish I could go back and save, because then I wouldn't have to do that over and over again, but it's all right. Here's what it is. Nope. Oh! oh! Oh, there are more. Oh no, come on. Probably would have killed some of them, but that's okay. Okay, that's the first time I've actually taken out the grenade launcher in this game, I think. Maybe some items over here, maybe not, maybe not. Please save. Nice, okay, great, great. 
is that? Oh, it's a tripwire. Okay. Can I go under this one? Oh, God. Oh! You know what? Not gonna reload. Here's the thing, though. I got... I have to kind of knife these. <laughs> I know I could have shot it. I know I could have. But I got the enhanced handgun ammo. Like, I can't really risk that right now. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> All right. Sent. Friday, January 16th, 2015. 12.42 a.m. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal. And she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one, too. Mom and Dad are still totally under, though. I was wondering... Is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of effed up. Send. Friday, November 4th, 2015. 2.10 a.m. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between Evie La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia's her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon is effed up. Sent Friday, September 1st, 2016, 1.10 a.m. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of me and not coming around. But it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's getting gray hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. I guess so. Brother. Um. Gonna take a first aid. Gonna make a new one. Can't make a new one because I don't have chem fluid. Dang it. Um. So they have two herbs in here, but no chem fluid. That's really, uh. That's really messed up. They thought Evelyn was effed up. This is effed up. Throwing herbs at me with no chem fluid. Can I break this? No. What is? Nope. Okay. This report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside the E-series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with E-series weaponized assets, hereafter referred to as mold. Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself and slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. Regen regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found that they were unable to, to cope. The amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Mid-stage infection. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations and soon comes under complete control of the E-series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. That's probably the stage Evie's at. Oh, was someone on the back? No. Probably the stage Evie's at. Five minutes after dose. Vomiting. E necrotoxin E series dosage test. 12 minutes after dose, cell calcification. 10 minutes after dose, death. Wow. Okay. So am I going to give that dose to Evelyn or what? Target acquired. Oh, look at that. Wait, I want to read this first. E necrotoxin destroys itself any subject based on the E series bioweapon model used only for disposal of E series asset. The 
Toxin must first be stimulated before use. Do this by placing sample of E-series cells into the necrotoxin chamber. I already did that. Without even reading the uh, instructions first. I don't need instructions. It's fine. Don't worry about it. E-necrotoxin. Great. Absolutely. Impeccably. Phenomenal. Oh, well, <laughs> a lot of reading and mission. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts for the company's Next Bass, Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority Initiative. Working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants en masse with minimal, with minimal direct contact. Oh, excuse me. Nextbacks was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project market markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Yeah, but they're only servants to the to the E series like membrane, right? Like to like the, the like the mothership, I guess, of sorts, right? Just like we'll see. Like the Evelyn, right? Since this effectively eliminates the costs of not only POW handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the blank, and even blanks blank, organization chomping at the bit to get on board. The project would never have existed were it not for the discovery in blank of blank, the remarkably progressed vicariant evolution fungus that we commonly term the mutamycete. The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce the mutamycete genome to a pre-stage 4 human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The, result organ the resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty. Okay. Series A through D to the perfected E series. The common appearance was selected for the bioweapons, that of a roughly 10-year-old girl, to ensure ease of blending in with urban-slash-refugee populations. Oh, wow, okay. The first E-series specimen, named Evelyn, has proved capable of secreting the mutamycete blank from her tissue at will. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamycete imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the auto-inducer uh, pheromones used for quorum sensing in pseudomon pseudomonas? Pseud pseudomonas bacteria. Pseudomonas? I don't know. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to everyone else, anyone else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first, the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamycete infection has progressed throughout the body's cells, so the body blank. Okay, I'm tired now <laughs> after reading that. <laughs> I thought she was like, I thought the Evelyn was like picked up, and like tested on or something like maybe she was like a pow or something and she was tested on but i guess she's just fully created like she's just like a robo infectious being okay <clears throat> more reading evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia the fungal filaments the term organism is used loosely here strictly speaking they are super organisms formed of countless mycelia What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength gives them significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded, made of mold and also molded as in shaped. I don't think that's a proper use of a semicolon, but okay. That's fine, game. That's fine, because that's not an independent clause. So, I don't know. 
the name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing blank on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. So that's what happened to uh, the dad and mom because they just turned to stone and were destroyed. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. Oh, well, no, because I was wondering because the, not Mia, but uh, Zoe, I thought, because she was probably dead too because she was in that flash, not like the flashback, but it's like we were talking to like their spirits almost in the embryo or like the E-series like veins of the ship. Maybe she died too? Or maybe they're not dead? I mean, they probably are, right? Like, well, yeah, it's like fatal. So they, they did die, but I don't know. I guess Zoe probably died too then. Um, rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it, subjecting it to blank would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call E-necrotoxin, which blank in even tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. So why did she settle upon a family as the theme of her mental control? This is just a speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blend into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing. A parent's love. Yeah, both of those seem plausible, so... I will believe both of those until I maybe find an answer, which I probably won't. Anything else in here? I open these. Okay, really interesting backstory. I'm kind of like... I'm glad that it's like I'm getting all the info, but... I kind of wish the info was like divvied out throughout the story, you know, like I could love learned about Evelyn for a while and then not really know what she is. And then like now read that she's like a little girl or maybe, but I guess a lot of this info is, I don't know, just to kind of get like the, uh, the lore dump in this room. I don't know how I feel about it, but it was good. I mean, like, I'm glad I know now. I'm glad I have all the information now. So Okay. So they really, they really want me to use the grenade launcher here. Okay. All right, game is saved, and I'm moving on, unless I should store anything else, but I don't think so. Oh, I should, I don't have any chem fluid, though. Yeah, wow. I actually technically have room to bring the burner, but I feel like I'd, the time it would take to, like, move it into a main slot, like, would be a lot, right? So, I think the weapons I have now are, will suffice. I believe that. Actually, do I have more gunpowder? I doubt I do, but might as well check. No. Okay. Unfortunate, but I do have a strong chem fluid. If I find gunpowder, I'm hoping I find gunpowder, and then I could just make some, make some enhanced handgun ammo. Okay, that doesn't work. Oh, enhanced handgun ammo. Great. <laughs> Sweet. Cut out the middleman. Oh, look at this place. Remote bomb, cool. Yeah, I can make another uh, regular first aid. That's good. Granny? Wait. Granny's gonna come out of the water, isn't she? Grant. Oh gosh, she's getting louder. Granny, look, I don't. Oh, she's down there, isn't she? No, 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 no. Granny's like, oh. Granny, how did you even get down here? Granny, we told you you're not supposed to come down into the mine. Oh! Die. 
die. I don't think so, Evelyn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here. Fuck! Ah. Ah. Okay, this is fine. This is all fine. Okay, herb that I didn't need. Or I guess I might, I might need it later though. So th that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. These little guys are annoying. Oh, is he dead? Oh, hey, look at that. Look at that. If this is a trap, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay. Machine gun ammo that I'm that I can't use. I might actually drop I might actually drop that, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Cause like in this specific run I'm doing. Right? Like, I'm not using the machine gun, so like I just I don't see the point. Oh, no, 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 no. Dude, this... Okay, this handgun with enhanced handgun ammo is really good. Like, when I was using the G17 pistol, like, even with enhanced handgun ammo, it really wasn't that great. But this one is amazing. Okay, I have so many remote bombs now. I should probably be using them more, but I'm just like... Part of me really just wants to save it all for when I actually fight Evelyn, you know? Um, I just feel like that, because I don't know how hard it's going to be, you know? I don't know. Okay. Buster. Great. I picked up some shotgun ammo, so I'm going to use it for this guy. That's fine. I'm going to use it again for this guy. Okay, I'm gonna use it again for this guy. Is he still alive? No, he's not. No, he's not. No way. No way, bro. Whoa! Okay. Thought I heard something behind. Perhaps not. Hey, you guys all proud of me? I'm officially not running past all of them like a coward. So I'd say I'm, I'd say I'm being pretty brave right now. Not gonna lie. Evelyn. Okay, it's a big boy. It's okay. Wait, I got bombs. 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 Wait, no! Am I actually just gonna die right now? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, that's dumb. Okay. Hang on, guys. No! Catch you later, skater. Might actually be the end. <laughs> I'm, t I'm not doing well on this during this fight. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> now I know, though. Put that right there. Okay, great, great. Yo, check this out. Check this out. Okay, that, they blow up at such random times. Oh, he's right there! No, 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 he's gonna barf next. Oh, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. How did that go through there? Come on. Oh! Trying it again. 
Actually, you know what? This is the debut of my uh, grenade launcher. Is this doing... Realistically, is that doing anything? Okay, honestly, going pretty well. Not gonna lie to you. Well, that's great. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Amazing. All right, back to the knife. Machine gun now that I'm probably gonna dump later. I feel like I'm being stupid for not just dumping the machine gun ammo now. Maybe I should just dump it now. God, the game really wants me to use that too. It's not that good. Like <laughs> the machine gun really wasn't that good. I'd much rather use enhanced handgun ammo. All right, I think I got everything down here. That grenade launcher was really good. At least it seemed really good. If there were like health bars, I, I guess I would I would have a better idea of how good it is, but... Yeah, there's gotta be something here. Should I use the supplements now? Now, I feel like I... I feel like I, whatever is around here, I could just find it. Also, this episode is probably going to be a, a lot longer than normal ones, just because it's the finale. I don't want to keep too much out, so <laughs> might be over an hour. I would hope not, though, but maybe it will be. Please save. Please save. Please save. Oh, yes. Okay. Machine gun ammo. So much. No storage, though. Damn. A mind map that I'm not gonna use. I haven't used maps yet. Not gonna use it. Maybe I should have just titled this run through like a no map playthrough of Resident Evil 7. Like, real talk. Probably should have done that. I could just end the episode here, but I really just don't want it. I mean, like, I could. I'm gonna finish this. Like, I feel I'm ready to finish this, you know, playthrough. I feel like, because if we're close enough, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna cut it off you know, while you guys are. Wait, Granny's wheelchair. Granny? Uh, okay, doll. I don't know why I look at that forever. Wait, we're back in the house. I'm sure of it. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, I was here. Oh, this is what happened. Oh, it's not. I already saw what, like, I was there when this happened, but I guess I didn't, I didn't see, like, oh, yes, I can finally freaking. Oh, I forgot one back there. Back right before I dropped down. Damn. Dang it. Okay, well, shoot. E001. Granny, what's up? E001. E001. Great. There's got to be something down here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hello? Oh, wait. Okay. I really thought the prop was going to be used again, but that's okay. I actually used it in the last Left 4 Dead video that I made for last Thursday, but uh, didn't have the face cam, so it was during the Cloud 9 call. Oh, that's... Hey. Evelyn, you seeing that? Okay, <laughs> I just wanted to be sure. <laughs> I just wanted to be sure that, you know. All right, hey. All 
Okay. This is your fault. No, it's not. Why am I seeing this? It's not my fault. Evelyn thinks it's my fault when it's not. Okay, it's actually, honestly, it's the scientist's fault who wanted to create a uh, molding bioweapon little girl of destruction. So it's kind of their fault. You might want to just take your anger out on them and then just retire from the whole demon business, you know? Okay, if I don't get a cutscene, like, it, we're going to probably take out Granny, or Evelyn's going to take out Granny. I still think Granny's probably the final boss. But, once we take out Granny, I, I want a cutscene with Granny in it at the end, you know? Um, if I don't get that, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Yay. We're back in the main house. This is great. Ethan, it's okay. It's okay, it's me. Oh, this is what happened before. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, mommy. Oh! But you shouldn't have done that! It fucking hurts! Does it want to be my daddy? Then he can die. So she was there the entire time. Time to kill you. Oh. Oh wait, we're gonna fight uh We're gonna fight Mia. I guess we're gonna fight Mia. Stairs are already down. No new items, but that's fine. That's probably not her. I don't know. I guess we didn't see Mia die, so she's probably not dead. What's the secret to this room puzzle? Oh! Okay, I will. Jeez. <laughs> you have to ask me. Jeez. Okay, I, I still don't know where to go though. Oh, it's like daytime again. Look at that. Where the fuck are you? This looks like it's important. Wait, that circle looked like it moved. What the heck is happening? Okay, she just not up here? Guess not. Going back down. Oh, okay. This is the right way. Can I open the fridge again? Look at that. The fridge is closed. Look at that. Don't have to open that anymore. Oh, is the food normal? No. Definitely not normal still. You're gonna be one of us. And then maybe you'll play nicely. I don't think so. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! Leave me to die! I don't think I'm actually being damaged by this. Oh, it's a doll. I am responsible. Did I shoot the doll? No. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Mia's kind of responsible, but no, she's not really responsible. For one, okay, it's all the scientist's fault. Like, real talk. It's all the scientist's fault. Um. Okay, so I can't go through here. Um, dang, alright. Going back, I guess. I'm gonna shoot the doll. I'm gonna do it. Okay, big mistake. I'm in a hallucination. I gotta, I gotta remember that. <laughs> You're trying to shoot stuff. Maybe the doors up here are unlocked now? Catch you later. Stay away! Oh! Okay, I'm out of the hallucination. Take that! Oh, Shoot! I gotta reload it! Hey. What? How did that hurt me? Hang on. Get away. Okay, I can block it, great. Right?
I think I'm just gonna keep shooting the grenade launcher until she dies, right? That seems like a good plan. Ah. No, I didn't use space. Ah. Okay, I blocked it. Good. Hang on. I feel like this is what I'm doing is not working. Oh, she's a hallucination. Okay, look. Okay, look. Here's the deal. All right. I'm going to retry because I shot like 10. I thought this was the actual like boss fight. Okay, I'm going to keep it might be. It might be. But probably not though. No! 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 Ah! Alright, well I guess it didn't matter. <laughs> Shoot. Evie will let you get near her. If you want to take her out with the E necrotoxin, you'll have to guard against her attacks. That's kind of what I was doing though. Stay away! No, you don't! Locked it. Yes, I will. You're not actually a little girl. Away from me. Stop, stop, stop. Got her. Got her. No, no, no. <laughs> Granny! I knew it. I freaking knew it. No one, Granny. Nobody hates you. Oh. Okay, hard bail, hard bail, hard bail, hard. What the crap? Okay, gotta reload. Hang on. What the heck? What the heck, bro? I don't know if this is doing anything. She's coming at me, bro. No! Okay. Uh, what do I? <laughs> what do I even do? <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Just keep attacking her and stay out of her way. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, I have to watch this again. Oh, dang it. Okay, maybe it's the arms. Maybe it's the arms. Can I shoot? Okay. I can't. Okay, I can't do damage to her arms. Okay. Hang on, Granny. What do I even do? Wait, hello? <laughs> All right. Wait, what? Oh. That's a big pound. Oh. Holy crap. <laughs> All right. I'll take a screenshot of that. Ah. 
Wait, I can't even. Can I heal? Or no? I can't heal, so. I can't even heal. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. She's taking me away. See you guys later. I gotta reload, though. Oh, got it. Did I do it? Oh, look at that gun. Oh, it, is that like a... They were talking about like some different kind of weapon, right? Or maybe not. The Albert. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh. Albert, save me! Playtime, Joe. Yeah! Ugh! Did I get her? Yeah! Now she's just spaghetti. Burnt spaghetti. Look at that. What did I tell ya? Granny's the final boss. Achievement unlocked, playing it safe. Achievement unlocked, the nightmare's finally over. And achievement unlocked, end of the night. Don't know what either of those mean. I assume it's because I beat the game, but I don't know. What else? That's a cool screenshot. Wow. Now they're all gonna swoop in and be the heroes of the story, even though I was the one, Fred Jones, who saved the day myself. Hello, sir. I'm Redfield. Oh. I'm glad we found you. The fuck took you guys so long? Yeah, honestly. Where's the reunion with Mia? I'm gonna screenshot that too. Ethan? Yeah! Mia. You made it. I'm glad. Did I? I hope so. They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for I me. I love M-dashes. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. Umbrella Corp? Dead. Oh my gosh. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia. But now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. That's probably a good idea. Maybe this is where the next door opens. Or not. Maybe there's a sequel. Probably for the DLC. Go tell Aunt Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody. Oh, it's the credits. Okay, I thought it was like a some kind of it's like a Marvel movie where at the end they have like a what's coming next or like a funny little random scene at the end. I didn't think it would be funny, but... Hey, Spaghetti. This uh, is symbolic of the Grandma Paschetti 
at the end. Oh, mom's spaghetti. Maybe that's what it means. It's Mia. Ooh, that's a cool shot. Realizing that, like, throughout the game, because <laughs> as you know, I doored a lot of enemies, right? So, ammo wasn't a huge issue, so I had a lot of extra at the end. Goes to show, anybody who plays this game, don't be afraid to shoot, you know, every. You, know, you don't have to door everything. Go tell Ed Rowley? Who said Rowley? I feel like I should do like a final thoughts of the game. I could make that into a video. Nah, I'll just do it now, I guess. <laughs> On the spot. Overall, that was a really great game. I mean, I... Especially in terms of like a lot of horror games out now, these days, um, it's you know it's pretty few and far between you get like because there could be a horror game that's really inherently scary, but that doesn't have like a, a really strong foundation, i.e. a story attached to it. Um, and I think this game achieved that. It achieved being scary, but also having that story element to it. I guess just as a product of being a Resident Evil game. Um, because Resident Evil games, you know, from what I know, historically, generally, they're, you know, I mean, they're all based around action, and this was too, so, you know, it, it wasn't like playing like a game like Slender, where it's just kind of like a, you can't really do anything to combat Slender, but, you know, you can't like fight or shoot stuff. So I think that like a big, hmm. I think I'm trying to separate, I think I'm trying to separate in my mind, I'm trying to separate this game from a game like Slender or like Amnesia, where because those games you can't fight the enemies, you can't like you know fight them. But in this game, you can fight them. But like, because I've played some Resident Evil in the past, but I haven't honestly I haven't even played through an entire Resident Evil game aside from this one. So, but for when I have played, you know, it's it's all based around action, based around fighting the enemies, and I think that that element takes some of the fear factor away, knowing you can fight back, right? Because in a game like Amnesia, you're more afraid because you know you can't, you can't fight back. You can only hide. So I'm trying to take that into account when thinking about, like, this game. Um, but yeah, I mean, this game was genuinely scary in a lot of parts of it. Um, throughout the game, I stayed relatively scared of things. Obviously, like I mentioned um, last episode, I think it was last episode, maybe the one before, um, that... I kind of became desensitized to some of the things, some of the elements, some of the characters, you know, I kind of became, I was completely desensitized to Evelyn as a little girl, um, even Granny too, because Granny never really scared me that much. I mean, she, her singing did, for sure. <laughs> uh, but overall, I mean, even as I became desensitized to other things, they kind of introduced new scares, you know, whether it just be like a jump scare or like, but they were unique, you know, they were unique enough that kept me interested and kept me on my toes. The story, I also think, was really was really well done. Um, I think it, I think it could have been. I think the story could have followed the character more throughout the game, as in like, well, 
as in like following the like learning more about the family's backstory and like I feel like I I wished I asked more questions and maybe that was a product of me just not thinking about it but it might have also been a product of the game not allowing not giving me enough information to like make either deductions or also bring up new questions for myself and for the game But I feel like at that point, it's being pretty nitpicky because, I mean, the story was really well done, I feel, and the game was genuinely scary. Uh, the action was pretty well fleshed out. Uh, it, the movements, it didn't feel clunky. Um, it didn't feel like... It didn't feel like I was playing, like, PUBG in first person, right? Trying to, like, you know, trying to move and jump over stuff. But like like a DayZ or, like DayZ or PUBG where it just feels so clunky in the movement. Um... Daisy's gotten better at that over the over the years, but um, you get what I'm saying. It, it felt very fluid, very easy. I didn't feel limited in attacking at all. Uh, yeah, the game's obviously linear, but that's fine. That's just that was just more of a choice on their part. But yeah, overall, great game. Um, I'm gonna go over what I just said, and if I feel like I maybe didn't mention something that I should have I'll probably like have like a minute or two video after but I think I probably covered most things that I felt overall great game I really enjoyed it genuinely scary action was well done the story was was pretty darn good uh, it was pretty well fleshed out I just wish that it was it became more evident as I played the game more instead of just kind of like that lore dump at the end which that's probably just me being nitpicky but but overall, great game. It didn't blow me away. Um, and I feel like that's because it didn't take that extra step to really be even more scary or even more... Uh, hmm. The boss fights, too, I think are a great element to the game. Um, the boss fights in general were relatively unique, but ultimately I think each boss fight came down to like... Can you shoot them a bunch at some point? Like, you know, you had to use the environment and stuff and, like, try to avoid their attacks in specific ways, but, like, it kind of just came down to just shoot them a bunch. Um, but they were they were decent. They were decent. I, they didn't blow me. The boss fights definitely didn't blow me away, though. The, the character designs, though, for the bosses were pretty cool. I, I really enjoyed that. I think the scene and the setting is pretty great as well. Moving through the house, a lot of it kind of felt not so much repetitive, but I felt like with like the different puzzles, I feel like the puzzles could have been a lot more difficult. Although, I mean, half the freaking playthrough, I'm just wandering around like an idiot. So maybe, maybe not. Maybe for me, they were hard enough. But, uh, like, when I walked in the ship and I just had to turn the paintings and stuff, I don't know. I felt like I didn't feel as engaged during the puzzles. Um, and me wandering just kind of felt like, okay, what do I even do at this point? Uh, but there wasn't too much of pointless wandering. So, in summary... Uh, the story was pretty well done, pretty well fleshed out. The action is pretty fluid, didn't feel held back, does not feel clunky. The action and scary elements mesh together really well. The game was genuinely scary for a lot of it. The boss fights could have been a little bit more unique, perhaps with like, you know, more use of the environment around you to like kill them in different ways instead of just shooting them a bunch. Um, the puzzles I felt like could have been a little bit more difficult or at least more engaging. Um, And I think that covers everything pretty much that kind of comes to mind right now. Uh, and it's happening as the credits are ending, so that's phenomenal. Overall, I would give this game a solid 8 out of 10, which correlates to it being, in my mind, a really great game. Uh, great game. Uh, didn't blow me away in a lot of aspects, but great game. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, and I had a lot of fun playing it and creating videos for it. And with that, 
I will end the video here. I thank you all so much for watching. It genuinely means a lot to me, especially those of you who watched through the entire playthrough of this game. That's incredible. Those of you who would actually take time to do that, that means a lot to me, genuinely. Um, more to come. I'm not entirely sure what playthrough is going to be next. Maybe I'll play through the DLC to this game. If anybody wants to see the DLC, let me know in the comments below. Uh, or if anybody wants to see a different game, let me know. I'm trying to think of what game to play. Yeah, if people want to see the DLC, I'm happy to play them. Uh, if you like the content, leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe. I am the Gladdest, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Oh, the credits haven't ended yet. I thought I was going to end it at like a perfect time. This is really going long. Oh, Capcom, hang on. I'm going to wait till, <laughs> till the credits are over, just so everybody who's watching can see the credits if they want to. Oh, there's the family. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was a phone. I thought that was a phone buzzing. Dang it. I'm going to incorporate that phone into other playthroughs and other games, so <laughs> mark my words. Difficulty normal, yeah. Playtime, <laughs> <laughs> 10 and a half hours restart oh no restarts 28 mr everywhere's destroyed 8 out of 20 yeah i really was slacking in the mr everywhere's department anti coins 12 out of 18 yeah yeah there are six that i missed that's actually wow that's more than i thought files obtained tw wow i missed wow i missed six files so they were Maybe that was it then. Maybe that could have found out more lore if I just found more files throughout the house. But like I said, that's pretty much, I mean, that's kind of me being, be, me being nitpicky. So I didn't incorporate that too much in my 8 out of 10. Item box is open. 69. Nice. Nice. Healing items used. 24. Okay. Stabilizers used. 1. Steroids used. 3. I wonder if there were more. The difficulty for this saved data. Yeah. I don't know if they save this, but I'm going to take a picture of it so I can just have it for record, I guess, of what my stats were. So if I ever do play through this again, uh, I will know. There we go. Unlocked. Difficulty Madhouse. Weapon Albert 01R will be added to the item box in the main game. Oh, great. So if I played through this again, I just have probably the most overpowered weapon in the game. Okay. Unlocked item. The Secrets of Defense will be added to the item box in the main game. Okay. Great. Oh. Additional free content. Not a hero. Download for free via More Menu. Is that it? Okay, I'm not going to take up any more of everybody's time. If you like the content, leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe. I am the Gladys, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Truly.